It's been a long wait. Let's hope it's worth it. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and to start this video I have to say thank you. Thank you to everybody out there that has watched and supported this channel. We hit three milestones today. Literally, I don't I, I would love to know the odds of that. Today, three milestones. 500 videos posted, 1 million views and 10,000 subscribers. And just from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to anybody that has subscribed, anybody that's joined the Discord server, anybody that's liked, commented, even to the people that have just given me feedback about how to get better. I appreciate all of it. Today has truly been a very humbling day, a day of self-reflection, a day of just wanting to say thank you to everybody. So big thank you again. This is only the beginning. Now. For today's video, we officially have a release date for Lost Ark in the West. No more having to do a trick with a VPN. You actually get to play the English version in the West, and maybe Action RPG will be making a guild. Haven't decided yet, but we're, we're probably going to do it. All right, let's find out all the new news on Lost Ark. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to support smaller channels. All right, let's jump right into this. Right now, we are on the website to MMORPG.com. Title this article, E3 2021 Lost Ark is coming fall 2021 to the West via Amazon Game Studios. And I think I have an exact release date. I'm not sure. It might just be like a placeholder. Nobody's talking about it but we're gonna check it out. This is a very long article breaking down literally everything that we know about Lost Ark, and we pretty much know everything because the game has been out a very long time. And you're probably thinking, what do you mean it's been out a very long time? Lost Ark dropped December 2018. December 2018. We have just been waiting in the West to get our hands on this. That's why a lot of people use a VPN because that was the only way that you could actually play it. Okay, you get the point. A lot of people are very excited. Let's find out why. One of the most highly requested games to come to the West, Lost Ark, is confirmed to be coming finally. Players will be able to drop the VPN and play on a client built specifically for the West this fall, with a beta coming this summer. Smilegate's free-to-play MMORPG is one of the many fans have been waiting for, but for the uninitiated, just what is Lost Ark? Thankfully, Amazon Game Studios, who will be publishing Lost Ark as their first third-party publishing game, invited us to a press preview to explain exactly what it is. First and foremost, Lost Ark invokes the same kind of vibes you might get from Diablo and Torchlight. Every single article. My ongoing joke continues. They always compare it to Diablo. And this one they threw in Torchlight as well. Of course it's like that. Sorry vibes of Diablo or Torchlight in terms of look. It's a top-down ARPG in its presentation. Keyword, presentation. It looks like a Diablo-style action RPG with stunning visuals. The visuals are amazing. Bringing the world of Arcasia. I, I don't know, alive. Players will take on demonic forces which are running wild in the world, trying to get themselves to the game's namesake, The Lost Ark. Listen to this. Lost Ark is a unique take on an MMORPG. Yes, this is an isometric MMO with guilds and boats and all kinds of everything that you would find in an MMO. Kind of like the game that I always cover, Core Punk, that is coming out. It's a regular MMO, just isometric view. Blending many of the systems you see both together, such as players will choose from five base archetypes to base their character around, though from there they can build their characters to range from one of 14 different classes, all focusing on different types of gameplay. 14, there's a really 14? Wasn't aware of that. Classes include a warrior, martial artist, gunner, mage, and assassin, but once you hit level 10, you can specialize into something more unique. For example, playing a warrior, do you want to be a tank? or a big bruising damage dealer, the gun lancer or berserker might be up your alley. Each class has a distinct style. 
which allows for a ton of min-maxing, especially to consider the complex skill system to play as well. Whew. Okay, I'm already done reading. See, I don't, I don't want to read the rest because I can't even get through it. Full isometric MMO. Literally some of the best visuals you will see. I'm trying to think of a game that might have better visuals. I don't want to say Wolsen because that's like such a slap in the face. Wolsen style visuals in a game that is actually functioning. And remember, this game has been out for going to be going on three years once we get our hands on it. So it is going to be completely polished. They're already going through multiple seasons. It's going to be a game that does not drop to a disaster. I shouldn't say that because Amazon Game Studios is taking care of it. It might not drop and be a disaster. Okay, you've all been very patient. You now have a base overview of Lost Ark if you haven't heard about it. Now let me show you why people are so excited for it. Enjoy the Lost Ark gameplay announced trailer in 4K. The Lost Ark is now but a myth. A relic from the half-remembered chain war. But now, our world has been torn once again. The demons have returned. With roaring destruction and waking nightmares. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I want to get my hands on this game right now. The visuals look amazing. Skills amazing. Character design, enemy de design, level design, all top notch. And like I said earlier, the game should be polished. We shouldn't get tons of bugs and problems with it when it actually releases. That being said, this game is completely free to play. And if you know what that means, Path of Exile. Magic Legends. You see these other games that are free, what do they all have in common? They are loaded with microtransactions, and as we already know, this game will be the same, so just start mentally preparing yourself for that. You still gotta try it, and you should probably join my guild, which I'm for sure probably gonna write. Your start. Embark on the Odyssey of the Lost Ark in a vast, vibrant world, explore new lands, seek out lost treasures, and test yourself in a thrilling action combat in this action-packed, free-to-play RPG. Seems like a run-on sentence. Release date? Fall 2021. Yes, we're going to talk about the release date. One more second, that's coming towards the end. So right now we are on the official Steam page for Lost Ark for the West, which we now have, which is great, and we have these pre-purchase Lost Ark Founders Packs. Yes, this game is free to play, and yes, they already want you to spend money. Silver for $25, gold for $50, and platinum for $100. So what does $100 get you right now? $100. Bucks. Package info. Platinum Founders Pack. This is what it gets you. All of this crap right here. Beta access. Three day head start, 7,000 royal clips, I don't mount, pets, all the same old stuff you would see from MTX. And it's a lot of MTX. But what a lot of people care about is right here beta access. 
So if you want access to play beta for Lost Ark, you need to spend at least $25. And I'm thinking about it. We'll see. I don't know. Do I have time to play it? Probably. System requirements. And then we're off the Steam page, and then we're going to talk about release date. So right now, we have recommended Windows 10, Intel i5, Ryzen 5, 16 gigs of RAM. So need a lot of RAM. And then NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050. So you can go back a couple of generations and you will still be fine to play this game, but it will require 50 gigabytes of storage space. So make sure you clear off that SSD. Okay, lots of good information on the Steam page as well. So I will link this in the description below and the article on Lost Ark in the description below. But there's one more thing we have to look at. Uh, it's probably a pretty long video. Last thing. The official official website, and I do have to say in the voice of John Hammond, they spared no expense. This website is really, really nice, very high quality. And you'll see that on here. You got news, you got the ancient enemy returns, a world adventure, blah, blah, blah. Website is really top notch. I'll link this in the description as well. Now, when you're looking up here, you see this little button? Buy founders pack you see this button right when you click on this button it's going to take you to the founders packs silver 25 gold 50 platinum 100 we've already talked about that but when you actually go to buy it buy it on amazon not steam buy it on amazon okay follow me down this rabbit hole for a second look right here you see it get the game the minute it comes out on december 31st 2021 it has a release date on it. Now, is that the official release date? I'm not sure. Is that just a placeholder date because that's the last day of the year? Maybe. Or maybe this has already been announced because there's 2,000 articles out and I just missed it. So let me know in the comments if I did. But right here, takes a little digging, you can see it. Get the game the minute it comes out on December 31st, 2021. Now, what really cracks me up about this, if it's true, is we were promised this game the last or I'm sorry, we were promised this game in 2021. And when do they give it to us? The last day of the year. So technically, they are keeping to their word. But we get it on the last day. All right, everybody, that's the video. Lost Ark, I want to know your opinion. Is this a game you've been waiting for? Is this a game you can get into? Or maybe it's a game you haven't even heard of? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have not joined the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're approaching 1,000 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you don't start the server alone. Link for that Discord is in the description. And this is a perfect example. People on my Discord right now are talking about, hey, are we going to play Lost Ark together? It's a great community. I highly recommend you join. And again, huge thank you. 10,000 subs, 500 videos, 1 million views. The channel continues to grow. I'm building a new studio right now. I'm starting a stream schedule. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Thank you all for the support. That's all I've got. Erin, out.